how to open effect or effects control panel in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's accomplished by two shortcuts, Shift-5 or Shift-7. I'll also show you examples how to use them in this tutorial. Now I'm going to press Shift-5 and you will see that something opened, but basically it's a blank pane. That's because control effects work only on a selected clip. So I'm going to go ahead and select my trees. And because we already pressed Shift-5, you'll see that the effects open. Now there's a whole bunch of things you can do with these controls. To scale your video, for example, just click and drag on the scale value. You can change the rotation of your video. Here I'm going to enter 45 degrees. I'm going to cancel that. You can change the anchor point. The anchor point is the center of your video. Usually, by default, it's at the center. But if I change the anchor point, let's say to a corner of the video and change rotation angle, you'll see it's rotating around the anchor point. You can also change opacity to make your video transparent. And you can change transparency level in percent here. This panel is not limited just to the video and here you can also change the volume of your audio and change the balance of the audio between the left and right speakers. Now the greatest thing about effect controls is that they can all be changed in real time as your video is playing. So that means that you can dynamically change the video size, to zoom in, you can change the audio volume or you can make the video fade in or fade out or achieve something called fade to black effect. Basically it's a fade. In this next example I'm going to show you how to zoom in on a video using these effects. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new project. Here I have my trees with falling leaves. Let's go ahead and rewind it to zero on the timeline. Basically make sure that your playhead is at the point where you want the zoom effect to start. It doesn't have to be the beginning, it could be anywhere in the video. In this example, it is at the beginning. Now make sure that your clip is selected by clicking on it and press Shift-5 to open the effect controls. Click on the time icon next to scale and that will turn it blue. This will add a keyframe to your video animation. Now on your timeline, drag your playhead to the place where you want the zoom effect to end and change the scale value to how much you want the video to zoom in by the time this effect ends. You can manually enter the value here. I'm just going to enter 200%. At this point, your zoom effect should be applied. I'm going to go ahead and scroll back to the zero on timeline and I'm going to play the video. And as you can see, we have just applied the zoom effect to the video using the effect controls panel. So guys, the other important shortcut is Shift-7. It's going to open the Effects tab in the lower left corner. Here you have things like presets, audio effects, audio transitions, video effects, and video transitions. Now the presets, the first one is you're really not going to use a lot unless you need a blur or some other obscure effect that you don't really use a lot in editing. The Lumetri presets are kind of more interesting because they're a bit like Instagram filters for your video. So there's a whole bunch of them. There's like Canon effects, whatever that means. Uh, you can play around with them and see how they change the integrity of your colors. It's really good for adding a different atmosphere or a feeling to your videos. You can find the film dissolve effect here to to do the fade in and fade out in your video but this tutorial is getting to be longer than I wanted it to be I just wanted to show you how to use the shift 5 and shift 7 shortcuts to get to the effects which you can also find under the windows here you can open both effect controls or effects by clicking on the windows tab I'm gonna be publishing a lot more on Premiere Pro on my channel so if you'd like you can subscribe to my channel